good morning good morning and welcome to my channel today we will be doing some chicken drumsticks i'm gonna go ahead and get these open i'm gonna check them out this little stuff right here We'll cut off I don't like that little yellow stuff on there any little extra fat that's hanging is kind of thick right there I'm gonna cut that because I don't like the way it looks I want an extra fat any little double fatness right in there that I guess rid of that I have kitchen shears that I'm using. Just leave her alone, Shamir. So she won't be crying. That's my granddaughter. You hear in the background, she's in a playpen. She's 10 months old, and she just want to be held. But you know, when you're in the kitchen cooking, you can't be holding the babies. My grandson's at the table having breakfast. So, she wants them to hold her. She had her breakfast this morning, her breakfast in her bath. But she got to chill for a minute while we get ahead and handle some things. They were one on the side creeping in. So who's the oldest one finished? He'll pick her up. He's a great help. He's 10. So, oh, listen to her. Your mom took the drumstick. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to wash this drumstick off. Right now, I'm just rinsing them. Because I finished cutting them. Cut that wood off. I'm going to pour the salt in there. Have a salt. That's the white stuff. I'm going to pour this lime juice. I think that's good. And what they're doing is just cleansing. I'm cleansing the chicken. Is this supposed to be dinner? Yes. Uh, you're making a video, but this is about dinner. Mm, yes. Um. Yes. I'm going to get my chicken. And I'm. Cleaning the chicken. Shh. 
to help to remove any residue from your chicken. You know how sometimes your chicken just feel all slimy and oh, yes, this just help cleanse the chicken. Make sure ain't no hairs on here. I already have my oven heating up. It's on 400 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. Check. Now I'm going to use the fork, pull the skin back some, and I'm going to poke the chicken. This will help tenderize the meat so that when the seasoning go in there, not put the seasons on, it will go right through the meat down to the bone. careful that you don't poke yourself because if you do it will hurt very bad tenderizing chicken Put it right here next to me, please. There's two of them separated. I have two foil pans. I'm separating it. Put them from there, baby. Huh? Put them next to each other. Oh, you want some next? No, down. Move the salt. Move the salt out the way. No. Look. Right here next to each other. Oh. Push that stuff out the way, please. He's trying to learn. I'm just checking for the ones that I didn't put. You can see the holes. Baby, kitchen's off limits. Do something else, please. Hey, what do you got there? Hey. Answer me. Answer me. Still got it. Still, still tenderizer. You're still tenderizer? Yeah, some poking holes in the chicken. Still tenderizer. Hi. Now, I'll pick it up. Make sure. Take it, take it there. Make sure there's no juice on here. I'm going to squeeze. Make sure no extra water's in there.
Well, you don't get off my couch. Here we go. And my two pants. I have some gloves. I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil. No, I don't do no measurements. You just, if you want to do this recipe, you just do it to your liking, to what you think it is. And what I'm doing is swishing, tossing, mixing the chicken in the extra virgin olive oil. This is going to help my seasoning adhere to my chicken. Alright, so we got that. I'm gonna use some sea salt. I'm gonna use some po oh my bad, poultry season. This one's not open. I have one that's open. Season. You know, poultry seasons for the chicken, so definitely want to use that. I'm gonna use some ground cloves. Not too much, just enough. I'm gonna use some paprika. Some garlic powder. Some onion powder. I'm going to use some sasson by Goya. Basically, you can use like your all purpose seasoning, whatever kind of seasoning you would like to use. And I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Spray my pan with some vegetable oil. You don't normally have to, don't have to, but I like to spray the pan. Put my gloves back on and I'm gonna mix. I have two pans here because I put the chicken in there so they can cook separately, and then I will put them all together. It smells good. Make sure that you pull the skin back, put the seasoning down in there, and lay it down. Make sure I put the seasoning down in there, pull the skin back. I'm going to put this in the oven for 
45 minutes, maybe an hour. On 400 degrees. My husband was like, oh, you making turkey, I mean, chicken drumsticks? He don't really like chicken drumsticks. Wait, 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 let's stand here for a little bit. He gonna eat them today. How about that? And then we're gonna find them. And he gonna love them, baby. Okay. Which I can ain't see. Get back here. Kitchen is off limits for you, which means you cannot go in the kitchen. Yeah. For you big, you get big, big. All right, so I got that in there. As you see, I change my gloves periodically. That's what it looks like. I have two pans. And I'm going to add some... A little bit more parsley flakes on top. I'm going to add some pepper. can't help but hurt you. You can never get enough seasoning on your powders and your peppers. Poultry season, I'm going to sprinkle that just a little. And just a little. And I have it up high so it's not heavy, so it's sprinkled. Alright, here we go. We're going in the oven for 45 minutes and we'll be back. Put it on the top rack so it's closer to the heating coil. Hello, welcome back. Well, we're getting ready to take the chicken out of the oven. And I didn't leave it in for 45 minutes. I actually left it in for an hour and five minutes. So, chicken together and then I'm going to put it back in the oven again I'm going to chop up an onion and then I'm going to cover it with some milk. span is short. He doesn't like to do math, but he does like those video games. 
So I hope somebody makes some video games on YouTube that the kids like to play. But do it about math and reading and spelling words, preschool, middle school, fourth grade, sixth grade, first grade, kindergarten. Because YouTube has so much content for the kids. But the ones who have the little education channel, it don't benefit them because they don't like it. So all these players out here that has UConn and people that they really like, they need to go ahead and uh, make them videos. Well, anyway, back to my chicken. Put that chicken over there. Put them onions on there. Because then I'm going to throw it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. But I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil so the onions can get that smoke flavor in there. Yes, it's Sunday and I have the kids, the grandbabies. I have them doing homework all the time. Like, they do homework online. But my thing is, parents, because we're home and you're homeschooling your children right now, seven days a week works best. Because what they get online, all that time on the computer, goes in one ear and out the other. Like, they need that structure with some type of book handwriting. So I make books up for them so they can get the reading and the writing and the hand structure and things like that still, even though they're not in school. So I'm taking the juice that the chicken made off this pan, the flavors. I'm trying to coat the onion. Yes, put that on there. This is what we have. Yes. I'm going to put it back in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I will take it out, take the foil off, and let it get hard one more time. I'm extra, so. My husband don't like his chicken, the skin on his chicken to be soft. He doesn't, he doesn't like it. So that's why when I finish this process, I'll take it back out and put it in just so it can get a little hard. Because he doesn't like his chicken hard. I mean, soft. So we we have it on that, and we'll be back. All right, welcome back. We're taking this chicken out. Mm, with those onions on there, it smells so good. See the onions just tenderized. See all that juice up in there? Yes, I'm going to pour that juice off and we're going to make a gravy out of that juice. So, I'm going to get a nice bowl and pour that juice off. We'll make a nice gravy out of that juice. We'll put a couple onions up in there for that juice. And we're gonna put this chicken back in so it can get hard up at the top. The skin is very soft and very tender. And like I explained to you, it's good to eat right now. If you want to stop right here, you can. But my husband like his skin hard. He don't like it soft. So we put it back in to get hard. One more time. My purpose of putting it in the oven. Um, for another 15 minutes with the skin on is so that that steam can get inside and cook the chicken some more. Alright, we're going to make that roux. I'm going to make it out of butter. I could make it out of oil. I'm going to make it out of butter. I got the stove on and let that pan get hot. This is a third, one third cup of flour. I'm gonna make um, the gravy. I'm gonna do some roasted vegetables. Yeah, I guess this be enough flour. 
keep the flour in a big bag so I don't want it to spill all over in the cabinet. Because you know when you take your flour in and out, up and down, you don't use a lot of flour like that, so you have to do that. Baby girl is sleeping. That's why you don't hear her. I use a lot. Of, I use a lot of country cop um, to make my roux because it, sometimes it uh, to me it melts. I'm not a professional with making a roux, but I be trying, so I work it out. And I'm still putting it in like I'm letting it melt. Go ahead, bring a little bit of that flour up in there. Sometimes I think it's not like, um, to me, it don't seem like it'd be enough butter to give it what it needs. So that's why I add more. Can't go wrong. Right? So. Yes, baby. I can download this stuff now. You download? Oh, yes, you did. See? Yes, he finished his work. When I make my little composition books, I give them five pages each to do. It will consist of adding numbers like him. He's in first grade. It consists of reintroducing the ABCs again, as well as um, him writing the ABCs. Um, you have to put them in alphabetical order, like I do them differently, so you have to put them in alphabetical order. I have words up there that begins with each letter. And we do five a day, and then we repeat and you know go over what we did the day before. And he has his numbers. I have him adding on a two-digit number. And he's practicing handwriting. So basically, handwriting, recognizing, learning the ABCs. You know, when they're in kindergarten, they teach them the ABCs basically in a song. That's how all the kids say. ABC, D, E, F, D, H, L, Q, I, F, E, V, W, X, Y, Z. And, but actually, kids really don't even know the ABCs. They only know it in a song. Like, they can recognize A and it's always easy. But when you get to, like, the W or the M, like, they get confused on that. So, I like to make sure that uh, okay. it's the beginning of the year he's on, on point with all that. So, whenever he comes down, I reemphasize the ABCs all over again. Yes, you see I'm cooking this roux. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this juice. It has the onions and the flavors already in it. And on this one, I don't have no stock, but I'm going to add water. my tea kettle but and then I'll just let this simmer down yeah let me simmer down and thicken I'm gonna add some seasonings I have some pepper never go wrong with pepper garlic powder some onion powder and I'm going to use the pink Himalaya salt There you have it. I'll turn this fire down and I'll let it cook. And 
Just let that gravy get thick. And you know when it's ready, when it starts to coat the spoon. All right, I'm getting a cup of rice. I have my water on. The chicken was the vid, uh, menu for the video, but I'm just putting my rice on since I have it. I'm going to do a cup and a half. Put the rice on. Mm -hmm. That gravy is on. Mm. Leave this, man. I'm waiting for it. Leave it. I'm going to check it. Say with grandson, you gotta be slick with the kids because they think they slick. They always trying to slide in on the side thinking you ain't watching. But you know, I'm old school. Grandma I got eyes behind her head on the side of her arms and everything, child. Dad, I see everything they doing. Look at that gravy. Let me show you some of this gravy. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Maybe you can see. Look at that gravy. That thing is good. I even tasted it. That thing is potent. Make that gravy for the rice. Uh, you better shape. You, you better make a lot for Papa, cause yes. you know he gets. He every time he eat. Every time he eats, he gets more. Yes, Papa said he told you. Papa be in it. He be like, you making these videos, you be making that banging food. You showing off, girl. That's all right. Got this. Get ready to bring that chicken out. All right, here we go. We bring this chicken right on out the oven, and it's ready. Yes. Look at that there. Woo, child. That's it. That's it. Let me get a fork. My grandbaby laying there watching me. Let's grab me a leg. You see, you hear that crisp? That crisp? That's how my husband like his. Nice and crisp. So I just put it back in after I finish the next step. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Woo, child. Yes. Great. Mmm. Mmm. Like oven fried chicken. That is good. Mmm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Hear that crisp? Yes. Crisp that thing right back up. Yes. I had that chicken. I'm going to get ready to do some vegetables. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Good, good. Mmm. I wish you could taste this. This is excellent. It's falling off the bones. You already know. Look how it's separate. You already know that thing is potent. Yeah. You go ahead and do your recipe. Let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching. Hit my subscribe video. Thank you for watching.